Hello everyone, it's Tom with the SS Motion here today. Sorry for the change of background for this short series of reviews, but due to some pretty bad rain here in Kent at the moment, I'm having to film in the kitchen instead of the conservatory. But hopefully that will let up soon and we'll be able to do some more reviews in the conservatory as I pick up more stuff. Okay, so today we're taking a look at another Call of Duty Megaplox set. This is Call of Duty Collector Construction Sets Motorbike Breakout. Is set number 06866, it's for ages 10 and up, includes 82 pieces and it retails for £10. So to start off with we'll take a look at the weapons, the figure, the vehicle and then the small structure. So starting with the weapons here you can see that there are two included in the set. The first being a grey and black AK-47. Just making sure that focuses for you guys. And the second being a LMG. Now alternatively if you wanted you could remove the scope from this weapon although and um, put it on the AK-47 and you could remove the drum magazine to make a shotgun so it's very cool that we get two weapons in this set as it's almost as if he's now using an actual Call of Duty loadout with a primary and secondary weapon which I think is a really nice touch by Megablox and I really appreciate it and just quickly here's a look at that AK-47 with the scope on it you can see it looks very cool Okay, so moving on to the figure, this is the first £10 set to include a named figure, which I think is absolutely awesome. So here is that figure. This is Alex Mason from Call of Duty Black Ops 1. He comes in urban styled combat trousers and a vest, a black belt and leg strap, and a metallic blue, almost navy coloured jacket. The head sculpt on this one is a lot better than the variant found in the Light Armor Firebase with a lot nicer paintwork applied and just generally more accurate look to it I guess. Um, the vest itself comes with an ammunition clip attached and an ammo pouch which is very cool. The ammo pouch is in almost an olive colour, the ammunition clip being in a grey colour. And his black leg strap comes with a silver concussion grenade. And what's very nice is for a £10 set we do actually get painted boots, which I think is awesome because it just adds another layer of detail to the figure and makes it look really cool. So that is Alex Mason based on his appearance in Black Ops 1. So talking about Black Ops 1, this set is actually based on Black Ops 1. It's based on the mission for Kuta, where Alex Mason and Reznov escape from... Vorkuta, which is essentially a Russian gulag of sorts, I guess. Um, and within that mission, they escape on motorbikes similar to these. And the rest of the set is meant to mimic the train yard where they are stored. So here's a look at the nice motorbike. You can see the Soviet logo there, again linking into the mission. Some nice handlebars, paintwork applied, gold bronze and silver pieces used to add a nice layer of detail. A removable brown rucksack. Just like all the rucksacks beforehand and can actually be pegged onto Mason's back. And we also get a very nice seat which is very nicely detailed for such a small scale. An exhaust pipe. Almost what's meant to mimic an engine coolant system, I would say. A brake light. A fog light. And a couple of nice features. So the bike can turn, which is nice. And it also has a flip up and down kickstand, which, if you flip it out like so, will actually stand the bike, which is very cool. So the last little element to the set is this small structure. It consists of, looking at the bottom, 
two base plates and a longer plate connected by various other pieces and these grates. Uh, it includes a silver barrel, a small structure here, um, mainly just nice for these parts, these are very nice parts indeed. Uh, some grates, which are always nice to have, and some wooden panelling almost pieces, which are again nice to have. This is almost a little crate. So I mean, the little structure included isn't much, but it is nice, and I mean, if you put the motorbike on it like so, it does actually look very cool. So overall, I would say I'm actually really happy with this set. I mean, when I first opened it and built it, I thought, my god, it's very small. I mean, when you actually pick the set up in stores, it does feel very light, so you're kind of worried, are all the contents there? But they are, and I would say, although it's a smaller set than some of the others at this price range, say for example the Repel Fighters set we're going to take a look at next, it still very much captures the feel of the Call of Duty line nicely, and is a great set. In addition to that, this gives you a way to get Alex Mason if you didn't get the chance to pick up the Light Armor Firebase, and it's just generally a really cool set, and I would definitely recommend it, mainly for the motorbike itself, as that is constructed beautifully. So that's it for another look at a Call of Duty set with me, Tom, from the SS Motion. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like, favourite and subscribe. And until the next time, guys, have a great week.